Hi, my name is Roger. And I'm Maida. Welcome to Our and Travels. In this video, we're going to give you a guide to the Havasupai waterfalls in Arizona. We're going to share with you cost, what to bring, what to expect, and what we would have changed about our trip. So let's start off with lodging and cost. So there's two ways for lodging. One is staying at the lodge, and the second one is camping. And so far, the, the cost for campings are $100 per person during the week and $125 per person on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And taxes, uh, taxes and permit fees are included. Okay, so the cost for lodging is $200 up to four people with the $40 deposit plus $90 per person entrance fee. And the reservations so far for the lodging are done by phone only. So there's three ways to get to the waterfalls. The first one is by helicopter for $85 per person with Air West one way. The second one is riding the saddle horses for $242 round trip. And the third way is free, which is hiking. These prices may change over the years, so just double check the website before you go. They have pack mules for bag carriage, which is $400 round trip. They could carry up to four bags uh, with 32 pounds each, and that's, that weight is strictly enforced. So we hike there. And just to let you know, we are beginners, so you're gonna be able to do it. So it's eight miles from the Walapai hilltop to the village of Supai, and from the village is two more miles to the campground. Our advice is to start your hike a little bit before sunrise. So now, what to expect? In the beginning of the hike, you're gonna go downhill in kind of a zigzag way. You're gonna be wa walking on kind of rocky, sandy, dry creek bedding. And they advise to take one gallon of water per person on this hike because there's no water along the path and uh, no bathrooms either, by the way. So one mile into our hike, we were asked for our reservation documents. So make sure you have it printed or have it saved on your phone because on the trail, there's no phone service. And also remember to bring along your car plane number because they're gonna ask for it at the office. So the hike to the waterfalls was just beautiful. You're gonna see horses going back and forth so just yield the way for them. Um, there's also gonna be a lot of horse pool on the ground, which is a good thing because it, it gives you a guide towards the village there's no signs until you get near the village so just follow the poop everybody follow the poop once you get to the village you are expected to check in at the office which is open eight to five and here they're gonna provide a wristband a tag for your tent and a map and also here at the village they have the soup bike store and the cafe and here they have food available arriving at the campground you're going to be re-energized when you see the have the beautiful havasu falls um, you can camp anywhere from the beginning of the river to the end of the river they have very well maintained compost toilets with toilet paper and hand sanitizer there's also a fern spring to refill your water bottle however there's no showers yep and the only shower you'll be taking will be this one and no shampoos or soaps are allowed Drones aren't allowed, campfires aren't allowed, gas stoves and propane stoves are permitted. So the monsoon season is from July through August. Make sure you check their website a few weeks and a few days before you go. The water temperature is going to be around 70 degrees the whole year. And the beautiful water color is due to the high concentration of limestone that flows through that area. To get to the second waterfall, Mooney Falls, you're going to go through a small cave before you go down the cliff. And to get down, uh, you're gonna see chains attached to the cliff and also wooden ladder. And um, just be careful because it's, since it's next to the waterfall, it's always wet and slippery. Okay, you guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit scared or super scared going down this sketchy thing, but once I made it to the bottom, I was really glad I did. Um, Mooney Falls is a beautiful waterfall and it's one of the main ways to get to Beaver Fall, which is the third waterfall that we're gonna talk, to, talk about next. If you're liking this video, go ahead and click that like button. Yes, guys, it, was, it will help us so much. Thank you. All right, so now let's talk about Beaver Falls. So the Beaver Falls are located six miles from the village of Supai and four miles from the campground, one way. The trail is a little bit rocky with some beautiful green paths, river crossings, and some small ladder climbing. The views are stunning and there's shade along the way. So you know you have a ride when you see the sign before you make your way down. Okay, so now what to bring. If you're money savers like us, just use what you already have for this trip. You're gonna need a backpack. We just used a regular school backpack we had. Um, you're gonna need some good shoes, preferably some hiking shoes or some strong tennis shoes because the, the ground is really rocky and uneven on, on most of the way. 
Um, it's advised to also get some Luco tape or medicine tape to wrap around your foot to prevent the blisters on your hike in and out of Supai. If you're camping, for sure you're gonna need either a tent or a hammock. And we also recommend to bring along a small safety kit with band-aids, painkillers, and things like that. And for clothing, uh, make sure that whatever you're gonna bring, you're gonna use and bring as little as possible and things that are gonna be light. Water shoes are also recommended because inside of the waterfalls, it's a bit rocky. Um, once again, we just used what we already had, some old shoes we had laying around and it worked just fine. You might also wanna bring a jacket depending on the time that you go because at night we notice it gets a little chilly. So you will definitely need a cooking stove with a small cooking pan and a gas container. And also, if, if you're planning on taking pictures, I'm sure you are, uh, you're gonna need a power bank to charge all your electronics. We also recommend you to bring a headlight, one per person, and you're also gonna need a sleeping pad. And um, we left everything on the tent while we were exploring, and it was completely safe. All right, so now let's talk food. If you're eaters like us, you're gonna be even more hungry after this hike. So just make sure you leave the non-important things at home so you can have more room in your backpack for food. For example, for three days, we brought two MREs, two cup of noodles, peanut butter jelly, uh, beef jerky, trail mix, and the <laughs> list goes on and we were still hungry. So what would we have done differently? Number one, we would have brought more MREs due to the weight. Uh, this was our first time trying them, so we didn't really know if we were gonna like them, but we did. So we would have brought more of those because of the weight, uh, at least two per person per day. Me personally, I would have also have purchased some cheap anti-slip gloves just to go down the Mooney Fall Cliff. Um, Myra was fine, but I, I would have, I just, I would have felt more comfortable with them on. Okay, we would have we would have also brought our new camping tent um, because it only weighs two pounds and it fits inside our backpack. We would have left our five gallon jug at home. We didn't even use that, um, and we would have arrived at the Hualapai parking lot um, the night before we were due to hike, just to have you know a full night of rest before we hiked early in the morning. We understand that the prices for uh, camping are a little bit high. However, the good thing is that everything goes to the Havasupai people and their community. Yeah, they're taking really good care of these waterfalls, regardless of the ton of people that they yeah. receive every year. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, please let us know below. And if you're new to our channel, go ahead and join us and subscribe. Yes, and all the items mentioned on the video are gonna be linked on the description below, as well as important Havasupai phone numbers and the official website. You can follow our daily journey on Instagram, RN Travels, and that's it. See you next time, enjoy. See you next time. <laughs> it's so cool.